So today we're going to look at adjusting and managing your brand new cupboards that you bought at IKEA or were installed by a contractor. In this kind of construction, it's super simple to put it together and then everybody forgets about how to adjust it and how to maintain it over time. The advantages of these cabinets and the way they're constructed is that you can do something called knockdown hardware, which is what IKEA has been making tons of money on over the past few years. They ship you a box with uh, uber schnickels all stuck together, that's the name of the cabinet, right? They stick it all together and uh, you put it together and you start assembling everything that goes on it. Every hinge, whether it's the most complex or the most simple, adjusts exactly the same way. So all we need to know is the principles of adjusting the hinges and then you can go and adjust the hinges in your cabinets at home. All you really need is one thing, a screwdriver. Now, you could do this with a slot screwdriver, what people call a flat screwdriver, but it's, a, it's got a slot in it. Or you can do it with what's referred to as a star or Phillips screwdriver. The Star of Phillips is the appropriate screwdriver because all the hardware, all the screws on this hardware is designed for a Phillips screwdriver. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to adjust the door. As you can see, there's a few things that we're looking for. We're looking for these lines here to be parallel, right? If those lines are not parallel, it means one of two things, that my drawer is crooked, which might be in this case. Or it might mean that my door is falling, which is usually what happens. So we have three screws. One of these screws moves the door up and down. One of these screws moves the door in and out. And another one of these screws adjusts the door for being crooked or not. The adjustment one is this one right here. So that pushes the door this way or pulls the door this way. Boink, boink, boink. And I can adjust both of these screws. If I adjust this screw that way, my door goes that way. If I adjust this screw this way, my door goes this way so that I can actually make the door sit in the cabinet so that it's perfect. Bring that over, I'm gonna push this back and voila. Adjustment number two is raising or lowering the door entirely. It could be that my whole door is too high and I'm bumping into my drawer right here. Well, this adjustment here is done. I'm going to over exaggerate it on this little screw that's here and I'm going to loosen this screw. I'm going to drop the whole thing down, tighten it back again, and you can see that I have a much bigger crack there. So if I wanted that crack to be smaller, I would loosen those screws again, I would lift the whole thing up, I would tighten the screws, and then I've basically adjusted this door for its up-down. And adjustment number three is in and out. So in and out. Not quite. In and out. Looking good. The question is, what is the right adjustment? The right adjustment has everything to do with the cabinets that are beside it. If the cabinet door beside it is crooked and this one's straight, this one looks crooked. So I have to make sure that the two doors are adjusted relative to one another. That is the art part of what you're responsible for. All you need to know is that you have three screws to adjust to give you the height of the door, the in and out of the door, and the crookedness of the door or the flatness of the door vis-a-vis -vis the front of the cabinet. And that's how you adjust and maintain your kitchen cabinets that you bought at IKEA.